spend too much money. Hey guys, this is Sophia, and as I promised, this is my California haul slash luxury haul slash Sephora haul. I figured instead of doing like three haul videos, I would just lump them in into one together. But given how much stuff I bought, I'm going to keep this short and snappy. I am going to leave timestamps for the different sections, either on the... Um, I actually have no idea what that's called. Where you choose the slider for the timer. I, again, don't know what it's called. If YouTube will let me do it, you should be able to click through the chapters, but if not, I will leave the timestamps in the description box. So if you're actually more interested in what I got in Sephora, you can just skip right through to that section, or if you're interested in the luxury part, you can skip right through to that too. I'm gonna start with the California stuff, and then the luxury stuff, and then the Sephora stuff. Without further ado, let's just get into what I bought in California. Now, when it comes to my vacation slash trips, I always try to leave wherever I'm going with at least one piece of jewelry. Because in California, I went to technically three different cities. I left with jewelry from each city. So from Palm Springs, I got this pair of earrings. Now they are the thread ones. And this is actually my very first pair of thread through earrings. I just could not pass up this shape. And then from San Diego, I actually got two pieces of jewelry from the same store. So the first one is this like choker layering necklace. Now, if you look really closely, it has like daisies. Basically it's daisies on back and front. So if it flips, it really doesn't matter, which I really, really appreciate. And when I was looking at this necklace, I also saw these hoop earrings and they are definitely not daisies, but I really, really like them. And I like that in the back, it is, it isn't just like a weird um, hollow thing. The last piece of jewelry that I got was in LA. Now I went to the Rose Bowl. I honestly wish I had factored in more time at the Rose Bowl because it was just so overwhelming and there were so many stalls there. I really had to like reel myself back in. But I came across this vintage jewelry stall at the Rose Bowl and they had this ring that I was just kind of immediately drawn to. And without further ado, here it is. Um, it's like a black stone. It has a little bit of rose gold and gold. And then it has this black and gold detailing on either side. And it basically fits my ring finger or my middle finger like perfectly. Not gonna lie, it was kind of expensive. <laughs> this was the most expensive piece of jewelry. And I'm not quite sure if it was actually worth this price, but I love it. So those are the jewelry pieces that I got. Now, moving on to the clothes, I bought a lot of clothes, especially when I'm on vacation. I tend to buy more top heavy clothes because those things are easier for me to carry back and they're lighter for me to carry back. Speaking of Rose Bowl, so I did pick up two shirts from the Rose Bowl fleet. The moment I walked in, I saw this like huge rack of shirts. They were selling these shirts for $10 a piece. I got this black t-shirt for my boyfriend and I was like, if he doesn't want it, I'll have it. It is actually a polo by Ralph Lauren. Hopefully that will focus. I just like that it was black. And then this is literally what sealed the deal for me. So I found that shirt first and I was like, okay, if I don't find anything else, I probably won't get it. Cause again, it's just a black t-shirt, but I found this and I was like, okay, I guess I'm getting that one too. It is a white v-neck shirt with a kangaroo sipping a drink there and it has Australia written on it. What sealed the deal for me was also that it's actually so soft. And then I went to Universal. Oh, I missed a shirt. I gotta go get another shirt that I got. Wasn't really gonna get anything, but I saw this Gutama t-shirt that says, don't care. And I was like, I have to get it. Yeah, it's also super, super soft and so cute. Okay, sorry, this is a little wrinkly because I literally just washed it when I got home. It is this Super Mario Player 2 t-shirt. My boyfriend has Player 1. It is currently in his hamper, so I'm not gonna show that to you because I don't wanna dig through his dirty clothes. But yeah, he has Player 1, which is like a bright red. And honestly, I initially wanted to get the Thing 1, Thing 2 t-shirt because I think it's cute, but Universal is opening Super Mario World or whatever they're calling it 
in 2023 so they actually already had a store like a store for it and we saw this and he was like if you want it i'll get it and i'll wear it and i was like i want it so we got it and then i got this shirt from a boutique in san diego side note stores in california close at like five or six so they close ridiculously early but this one was still open and i just this shirt is so this camisole is like super super cute it's got some layers right here it's pretty much cropped i really love this floral print if you follow me on instagram you sold this shirt already because i shared it on instagram stories and it's in quite a few of my posts from the trip but it is this hawaiian i'm gonna call it hawaiian even though it doesn't look hawaiian shirt that i got in palm springs it is the prettiest color print ever i really love this color they only had one left in stock this is a large and i tend to buy oversized like shirts like this to wear more as like a cardigan in general so that's exactly what i bought it for the last two items is a little different this one is another kind of light cardigan thing i saw it at a boutique at la jolla beach but i just really liked it it is basically this like kimono-esque you're not really going to be able to see it very well i don't think i'm sorry kimono-esque it's like hand embroidered kind of like beach coverall but i would like i said most likely wear it as a kimono slash cardigan if anything the last clothing item i got is this dress so this dress fell in love with this pink and green print so yeah i'm really really excited for this the last two items i'm going to show you is from the rose bowl flea one of the things on my list that was very specific was to get some prints for my home and i found these from a store they choose old prints from stores that no longer exist restaurants businesses that no longer exist and turn their prints into art prints so i got this this one is of Paris and this one will go in our coffee island. What I loved about it is that they actually also share the like behind the scenes of what this print is from and the story behind it. And I really appreciated that attention to detail. And now let's get on to the luxury side. I thought this video could be quick, but I don't think it can be. I got a long champ tote with this little cute pikachu on it i have their brown leather version with the brown handle and i love it to death and apparently they basically are only selling this collaboration in their outlet stores so whatever they have left in the store is what they have left everywhere okay and then i did get a luxury jacket this one is probably going to be a little controversial don't judge but I love it and I'm gonna wear it and rock it. My boyfriend hates it, but it is this Burberry, I'm gonna call it a denim trench. It has like a denim like vest embroidered on the back and the front, but it's like the sleeves and stuff has the trench detailing and obviously. So the way I envision wearing this is I hate denim on denim but i love that this still has denim but it breaks it down i think the only thing that sucks about this jacket is that the pocket is like tiny the next luxury item is from goyard i'm going to insert the unboxing that i did so you can just see it but anyways basically i've been dying to get a card holder for a really long time i have like several but they're all on the like thicker side and i wanted one that was just a regular card holder so i wanted to get a goyard one because their online store is not really an online store as much as an online catalog and so you can't actually buy any of their items online you have to go there to their store which is very very annoying i'm excited to use this I've been dying to use it but i've been waiting to film this video these two items i am like genuinely most excited about i did the official unboxing for this on my vlog so you'll see that again if you watch my vlogs 
I got the Hermes Oran sandals. This was like a whim purchase, but I love them and I will be wearing them for hopefully the rest of my life. I'm gonna say very little about this because like I said, I'm gonna share my entire like luxury customer service experience in a separate video. But yeah, no, love these, excited for them. I will say they do require some breaking in like most shoes do, but yeah, no, they definitely require some breaking in. I got, I got blisters, whole other story. But this one, I knew I would be, if I looked hard enough for those, I would be able to find them, no problem, because they're such a iconic shoe from Hermes and almost everyone who enters <laughs> The Hermes experience will be able to get their hands on those but this I genuinely did not think I would get it on this trip or even get it this year but I did and without further ado I mean maybe you can already see it from the unboxing but it is the Kelly belt in this in the gold hardware I am just so excited for this. I also, I will say they had a price increase, I think while I was in California, cause I looked at this for like weeks, even days before I went on the trip and it was like a hundred dollars cheaper. And then all of a sudden I go and check out and this is like a hundred dollars more expensive now. And I was like, what the hell happened? I am so excited about that and I'm just, I'm just really happy right now. <laughs> Those two are literally my dream Hermes items. I do have a, a few other items on my wish list, so I feel like this is probably not the last time I'm gonna be talking about the brand. I, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm so happy. I need a sip of my coffee. I'm just gonna stare at the belt for a second. Okay, going into Sephora. Gonna keep this short and sweet now. I forgot some of my hair care items at home. No, not forgot some. I forgot all my hair care items at home and I didn't realize this until I went to California and I took a shower and I looked at my toiletry kit and I was like, where's all my hair care? <laughs> went to CVS, bought some um, CVS hair care. None of them worked. So then I did go to Sephora because I didn't realize that while I was in California would be when they were doing their spring sale. And I'm kind of one of those people that if it doesn't work for me, it doesn't work for me. I don't try to make it work. So the fact that I've kept these since I bought them really does say a lot. So I got this JVN hair cream. I don't even know what it's called. Yeah, Instant Recovery Serum. It's not terrible. It's not the best. It does detangle. I can attest that it does okay with blow drying, but it's not, I can't use it on its own. I still have to use some kind of hair cream or hair smoothing conditioner kind of thing with it, but it does the job. And then I got this hair oil drop and this was really cool. It's super, super watery. So it's not like super oily. I did try it a few times. Again, I've kept it. So it actually is really, really nice. It keeps your hair shiny, a little soft, smells really nice and it's not too oily on the fingers. And then basically, I haven't worn makeup for a really, really long time. I bought my makeup with me. I realized that both my lower lash mascara, yes, I have separate mascaras for my lower and upper lashes, as well as my eyebrow gel had both dried. So I had to go buy some more. The sales associate recommended me this Ilia. It's called Limitless Lash Mascara. Really nice. No, nothing bad to say about it. And then I got this Merit eyebrow brush. I used this once and I fell in love with it. This is so good. And then because I hadn't worn makeup in so long, I took my usual eyelash curler. I looked at it when I got there and there's mold on the part that touches your eye. And I was like, you know what? I don't wanna mess with this. And I've always been dying to try out the Shiseido. Um, eyelash curler because I had so much good things about it for years So I figured this was the perfect option to get and by the way, I've tried to get this for years now So this was literally the perfect opportunity and then I did get a little bit more skincare So I did get the Laneige cream skin in my last Sephora haul They had a point of like the smaller version of this. I used the free one while I was on my trip. It didn't break me out. It was super, super easy to put on. I really liked it. So I did decide to buy 
the full size one. And then I got exfoliating peel from Paula's Choice. I'm hoping this will replace the ordinary one. I don't know why, but the ordinary a AHA peel, last few times I've used it, kept it kept hurting every time I put it on. I am not using it for a while and I'm gonna try something new and hopefully this works out. And then another Polish Choice item, I did decide to get another serum from them. This one is specifically for pores and texture. And then this is actually the big ticket item that I got. I saw that they released this scent and I really, really like the bottle. And one of the Sephora's I went to actually happened to have this on display. Sprayed on myself, loved it, so I decided to buy it. It is a Jo Malone cologne in the Sakura Cherry Blossom scent. Oh, there goes my hot cross buns. And here is the bottle. Dun dun dun. I mean, it's just so pretty. I'm actually going to put this on my desk because I think it's so pretty. That is it for my Sephora slash California slash luxury haul. I know this was probably a lot longer than any of you expected it would be because I did lump so many different hauls in one video, but I hope you found this enjoyable anyway. Like I said, I spent too much money, but I actually have no regrets which is very rare for me. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this and hopefully I will see you next time for another video. Bye.